Okay, now let's do some f fun work with counting trees. And I want you to look at this picture carefully and then make sure that you've got some paper to write on because I'm going I'm to give you an exercise to work. I claim that on this slide, I have shown all of the possible unlabeled trees on six vertices. See if you can make sense out of that. Uh, the one in the upper left corner is what's called a star. There's one vertex in the middle, and all the others are leaves, and they're all adjacent to it. Also, you can group them according to what's called their diameter, the size of the longest path. The star in the upper left has diameter 3. So the longest path has size 3. The two trees shown, one in the middle and one in the upper right, have diameter 4. They have paths of size 4. The two that are on the line, not the bottom, but they have diameter 5. And the path at the bottom has diameter 6. So now all you have to do is convince yourself that these are the only possibilities. Obviously, the star is the only tree which has diameter 3. Now, if it has diameter 4, then you have these two little dingles, the two extra things. You can put them either on the same location, like the one in the middle, or on the two different places, like the one on the right. If you put them both on the rightmost one, it's the same as putting them both on the leftmost. And then if you look at the, the two that are diameter 5, you can see I've got the extra dingle. And that dingle is either in the middle position, like it is on the right, or off to one side, like it is on the left. And then the, the path stands alone. OK, you got that? All right, you draw all the trees on five vertices. That should be easier. Draw all the trees on five vertices. <laughs> 